one. It's that time of the month again here on YouTube. That is monthly favourites. We are now into August. I cannot believe we're into August already. This summer seems to have just absolutely flown by. That being said, I am pleased that it's August now. August is one of my other than Christmas, I think is my favourite month of the year. That is because the sun is out. Luckily here, up north, we finally caught up with the rest of the world, it seems. We've got a bit of sunshine and also because it's my birthday. It is my birthday on the 12th of August, so yay! Can't wait for that. I absolutely love birthday parties, even if it's not mine. I just love birthday parties, so I'm a bit of a weirdo, but yeah, can't wait for that. I'm going to jump right into it with my first product of the month. This is um, a perfume. It's a perfume that I've been an admirer of. It's really hard to say. An admirer. An admirer? An admirer of anyway for quite a long time. Um the thing that mainly put me off about this perfume was the price. I think it's quite expensive for what it is. That is another reason why I was absolutely thrilled when I got it as a present. I was actually given it by a family member for my graduation, so I was really pleased with that. It was a really nice thought. That perfume is by Chanel and that's Coco Mademoiselle. I absolutely love this perfume. It's really distinctive and if someone was to walk past me wearing it, I would definitely recognise it now. I haven't smelt it as much as I have. I've had this for not that long and I've already used about that much so I am trying to save it for special occasions. I'm really getting into it and I wish I could afford for this to be my signature scent but unfortunately I can't. What I will say about this is for the price it does last a really long time on your skin. The likes of my other favourites which was Escada that I mentioned in a previous video is a really good perfume and it's more lower end which means that it doesn't seem to last quite as long on your skin as it should do. Sometimes if I'm just going somewhere quickly and I pop on a cardigan or a hoodie or something like that and I give a little spray of this, I can still smell it on the item of clothing whenever I'm going to put that away that evening so it's really good for that. This is only a 50ml bottle. I'm not quite sure how much this was, as I said it was a present. I will definitely put a link below as where you can check this out. But I would say definitely go to your Chanel counter and check this out. It's one of the sort of, it's one of the sweeter, more summery fragrances, I think anyway. It's got more of a summer scent. It also, I have to say, looks absolutely amazing on your dressing table. It's so cute. Perfume, of course, is pink, which is why I love it, another reason. But it looks so chic and so nice. I just think this is really, I don't know why, but I just think this is a really classy perfume. Definitely check out Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Next product I am definitely just going to whiz by and that's because it is spoke about so much here on YouTube. It was in nearly every single blog that I seemed to read a couple of months ago. So I'm sure most people on here have seen it, but that is the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. The palette just looks like this. And the reason why I've chosen this is because it's perfect for summertime. The colours are really neutral, really natural. As I said, it's my birthday on the 12th, so I'm actually going back to Ireland for about a week. And I'm only going to be bringing this eyeshadow. That's the only thing I really need. I think there's um, a colour in here for every look you want, you're going to want to do. I am going to be going out at night to celebrate, of course, with a couple of cocktails. I am over the age of 21 after all, and I think I can do a smoky eye with this, I can do a daytime eye, I can do pretty much anything I need to do with this. Definitely, definitely a, a favourite for last month. I use this product, I use this palette, I want to say, every single day, so it had to be in the monthly favourites. I'm just going to quickly mention, I don't know if it's a favourite, but it's definitely something that may become a favourite. It's on trend for this um, spring, summer and autumn, winter as well and that is an eyeshadow by MAC. The eyeshadow is orange and it's just called orange. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous shadow. As I said, I use my Naked palette and then I brush a little bit over the crease with this and just blend in really nicely. It's lovely for the summertime, it really adds a pop to your eyes. I've also took a liner brush and lined the underneath of my eye with this before for sort of a more dramatic eye. I get a lot of compliments when I do wear it, so I think this is definitely something to consider. It's definitely not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but it's something that I've been really loving over the last week, and maybe not over the last couple of weeks since I got this. I think it's going to remain in my everyday makeup bag for quite a while anyway. So that's it for cosmetics that I've been loving this month. Most of the other things that I have been using on an everyday basis are either in my tag that I did from Fleur's blog or in my top 10 MAC products. So if you're interested in things that I do use definitely on a daily basis, check those out. 
I'm going to move on from cosmetics now and I'm going to move on to hair care. I've been loving something quite different for me recently. I get a lot of questions about my hair, the things I use on my hair, what I do to my hair. I do have another video on that, so if you'd like, again, to check that out, please have a look at that before you ask me any questions. I definitely keep two shampoos at a time in my shower. Every time I wash my hair, I alternate these shampoos. I find once my hair gets used to a shampoo, it stops sort of reacting and feeling as nice as it did when I first got it. At the minute, I'm rotating from the shampoo that was in my Platinum Blonde video and this. This is VO5 Give Me Moisture. It says on the front, it qu quenches thirsty hair for a shimmering, shiny transformation. It's for dry hair, this shampoo. And I am really impressed. I think it definitely does give you moisture. So if you have dry hair like me, if you colour your hair, things like that, I would definitely say check out this shampoo. It definitely gives you more moisture. I really like this. I really like this shampoo. I find I even might think I like this a little bit better than my Dumb Blonde shampoo. And the price difference is amazing. I find that this shampoo really does do what it says. It does give me moisture. My hair feels definitely a lot softer after I use this shampoo. I take a, a bit of this on my hand and it lathers up amazingly. It lathers up really, really well. I take a bit of this and then again I mix that with my blue tone shampoo and I, I run that through my hair. I'm really enjoying using this and I think that I'm definitely going to repurchase this. I don't think I'm going to repurchase the Dumb Blonde shampoo. So I will be on the hunt for another shampoo. I think I have about that much left so if you'd like to recommend a shampoo please leave that below I have tried the Kerastash shampoos and things like that before so I don't think I'll be returning to that sort of really high-end shampoo when simply I just mix it with another brand anyway it's from their new range where they say that every hair is not where they say that everybody's hair is not the same so people want different things from their shampoo which I think is definitely right for me and I definitely need a lot of moisture the shampoo is actually really thick for a shampoo when I first put it on my hand I thought I had the thought in my head, oh no, I've just poured my conditioner out, but no, it's actually the shampoo. It's a really thick consistency. It smells amazing. It smells really fresh. It doesn't last in your hair that long, but um, but for the price, I would say definitely check this out. After using this product and being so impressed with it, I'm definitely going to be trying a few more VO5 things. The next hair care product I am over the moon about. I don't know what I did before I got this product. I can't even imagine my life without it. And that is the Moroccan oil. Moroccan oil treatment for all hair types. This is this says limited edition, but I don't I don't know why it's limited edition. It's 125 milliliters. I bought it online, so I'll put the link below on where you can purchase this as well. And I absolutely love it. I've been using it both when I get out of the shower, and also I've been using it with when my hair is dry, especially when you use extensions. If you've had your extensions in like me for quite a long time, and you use them over and over again, what I find whenever I wash them and then I straighten them, they don't feel as silky as they once did. I'm telling you, a drop of this and they will be transformed into their former silky selves. It's a product that I'm absolutely raving about. I'm telling everyone about this product and I'm definitely going to start tweeting about it. I haven't yet, but I am going to start tweeting about it. So if you don't already, please follow me on Twitter and you'll get lots of useful information like what I had for lunch. <laughs> And what I do is I just do one pump, that is it, no more than one pump as I find with an oil especially, you don't want your hair to look greasy, not that I find that at all with this. I have had it for about a week now I want to say. I've used, I've used nothing from this bottle so I think this bottle is going to last me quite a long time. At first I did think it was quite expensive but now that I see how little you're going to use I can, I can see how long this product is going to last me. So I'm definitely raving about the Moroccan oil. There's 101 reviews on this as well, so if you'd like me to do a more in-depth product review, please leave a comment below. I keep that right beside my shower and I definitely use this every single time I have a shower and I wash my hair. I'd even say that I use it on the days that I don't wash my hair as well, so... Sorry, that's really distracting. I don't know why I was wiggling that. But yeah, check that out, Moroccan oil. The next and last thing is something that is in my haul video, I think. And I said that I wasn't going to talk too much about it, and I'm sticking to that promise. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but that is the Liz Earl. I am converted. I am definitely a Liz Earl convert. I will never go back to just using a wipe. I will say that I do use a wipe to take off my makeup, and then I use this to make sure that I'm definitely getting a really good that I'm definitely getting a really deep down clean. I'm really enjoying using this product. I think it nourishes my skin really well. Um, I haven't had any breakouts or any reactions, anything like that too, and I find that it's given my skin a really nice glow. 
The other weird thing that I'm finding about this is the more people I talk to about skincare or the more people that I mention this to, everyone seems to use it. And I never realized how popular this was until recently. Everyone's mom either uses it, their sister, themselves, everyone knows someone that uses this. So if you haven't already tried it, I would definitely say it's a must have for anyone with skin. It's a must have with any, for anyone with skin. It's definitely something I'm enjoying using and it's definitely something I'm converted to. I will repurchase this over and over and over again. I actually had the thought in my head, I'm flying home to Ireland like I said and I had, I usually just take hand luggage and I've actually opted to bring a suitcase with me this time and that's simply because I wasn't sure if I could get this through customs in hand luggage. I wasn't sure if it was gonna be I wasn't sure if it was going to be the right size so that's how much I love this product I've paid extra for a suitcase just so I can bring this product to Ireland with me so definitely would say check this out if you haven't already that is everything I have for my monthly favorites this month I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find it interesting please let me know what your favorites are if you've got anything that you think I should try out as I said before it is coming up to my birthday so I will definitely do a birthday vlog for you if I have time or if I remember so that's something that you, that you can definitely expect to see up on my channel in the meantime, thank you so much for subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.